Hey everyone, it's Matt. Today I wanted to show you a new feature that we're releasing. Uh, this is the ability to tax the marked up percentage or marked up amount of uh, menu items at the RDS taxable rate uh, instead of the restaurant tax rate. So I'll show you what I mean. Uh, well, first we'll look in locations here on the admin dashboard. I'll go ahead and jump into this location. And we'll notice that I have a tax rate of 10% listed for the restaurant delivery service. I'm also going to be tracking this on a spreadsheet here as well. So you'll see again, uh, the RDS tax rate is 10%. We'll go ahead and jump into the restaurant. Now I'm in the restaurant financials tab. And this restaurant has a tax rate of 5% and we have a markup on this restaurant of 10%. So the restaurant's tax rate is 5% and the markup amount is 10%. So at this time we can go ahead and see that if a $100 menu item is in the system with a $10 markup based off of this 10%, that the total item subtotal would be $110. The non-marked up subtotal would be taxable at the 5% restaurant tax rate, whereas the marked up subtotal of $10 would be taxable at the restaurant delivery service tax rate. When we run that equation out, we see that the restaurant tax rate becomes the restaurant total taxable dollar amount becomes $5 and the RDS taxable dollar amount is $1. Total charge to the customer is 6, but in the back end we're going to go ahead and handle all the splitting of that out. Furthermore, if we were to set up here on the markup restaurant percentage uh, a 50%, what this means, if you don't uh, are not familiar with this yet, is if I'm marking up the restaurant's menu price by 10%, and I put 50% here, that means that I'm splitting this markup here 50-50. We have incorporated this into the equation that we are releasing for the taxable markup amount, and in this scenario, if we have it set here as 50% of them getting 50% of our markup, uh, the tax would be handled in the proper uh, allocation at that point as well. This feature is by default activated, and you can deactivate it by going to your settings, management decisions on the left hand side, and on checking the calculate markup tax conditionally. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day.